cigars and bourbon on this episode of Hearts and Cigars. This episode, we're coming in here smoking the Viawahe Black. I forgot what you gave me. For the Hendrix? What you gave me. The Hendrix. the Hendrix. Factory Direct. Here with my buddy John. We can do some bourbon reviews. Kind of a little cinnamon off the dry draw. Get in here and fire this up. Little wind, little windy out here. I don't know how yours fucking lit up so quick. Got a real sweet wood flavor coming off of this so far. You got it. good, nice, full-bodied smoke here. Nothing sweet about it at all. Good robust flavor. My smoke is pretty thick. Let's see what we got here. What do we got, John? We got some uh, few from. It's actually from Evanston, Illinois. So we've got some Illinois rye in here, which makes it a little bit different of a bourbon. Uh, let's give her a little shot here. Great red color to it. You definitely can taste that difference in the rye versus a Kentucky rye. Got a little bit of that rye burn, but it still is a true bourbon. Definitely a little rye. The oak is super smooth in here. Not knocking in the face at all. Yeah, real light on the burn. Yeah, this is definitely one to sip neat. No ice cube or anything like that. Real leather, woodsy. Ease on the draw. Draws real easy. What do you think about that so far? I love the cigar. The bourbon is just great. It's definitely a sipper. Um, again, it's a real approachable bourbon, meaning doesn't have all of those like double oakings or anything like that it's not a super high like the cask strength or anything like that and uh price point is right where you want to be for a decent bourbon i think it's like around 42 to 48 dollars a bottle it is nice let's get in a little bit we'll be back what's going on everybody it's french back in well, we came in, we were supposed to have a cigar and booze pairing. Started off the video and, uh, you know, through the magic of time, we got caught up in just enjoying drinks and enjoying good cigars. My wife came out with my son. We all got talking and, uh, you know, I haven't seen my buddy John and man, it's been a while, six months, maybe more. But I think that, and we didn't end up shooting any more video because we all started talking we just all had a really good time and uh i think that's what it's about you know we got caught up in the moment and uh forgot to hook the camera back up and i think that's really what the cigars and the fine liquor is all about in family and friends and it's just about getting in there enjoying yourself enjoying your family enjoying your friends and getting kind of lost in that moment that's getting created here and i think that is what that's what it's kind of all about so i do have to apologize that we didn't get the video finished 
But, uh, you know, John was smoking the Hendrix. And when he got done, you know, I said, what would you think about that? He goes, that is how a cigar is supposed to taste. You know, he didn't give me much on the flavor notes or the profile changes. But he was like, that was a good cigar. That is how a cigar is supposed to taste. And, I mean, that's the same kind of feel I had from when I smoked it. We are down, you know, in the human world. And he's like, ooh, you know, he's looking around. He goes, I, I said, try this one, you know, get into this one. It's really, really good. And uh, I had the Viawahe Black. And there wasn't a lot of flavor profile changes to it. But what was really nice was the balance between the body and the flavor was perfect all the way. Um, I had a really nice sweet leather taste over the tobacco throughout the whole cigar. I, I really didn't get a lot of flavor profile changes. That's really what I caught the entire time. But uh, it was a nice cigar also. Definitely one uh, to put on the list to get some more of if I can. Well, until next time, take it easy.